Well guys, we're gonna go down to the river today. It's possible that this video never even gets released. I don't know. Uh, I am wore out. <laughs> all the pedaling down to the trussle and everything hanging out down there all day and fishing all day long has wore me out, not to mention working. And I did work today. So anyway, I want to go down here and catch some fish. I'd like to see what we can catch. I'm not gonna ride my bike all the way down the trussle today though. I'm too tired. But what I'm gonna do is go to the river, take my little car down to the river and fish a few spots and just see what happens. I mean, it's possible we get some good bass up here. I'm gonna stop at my friend Ryan's place and fish that hole. And uh, other than that, we're just gonna hit a few spots, see if we can pick up some trout. The way the weather has been, it's possible we pick up some bass. Uh, we will be running that one bass lure through every hole that we go to, so it's a possibility. Anyway, um, I guess I'll get back to you guys when we get to the first spot. I'll talk to you then. I don't know if you guys can see these or not, but there's some little moth or something here. It's almost like it's snowing, there's so many of them. I don't think they're mayflies. I don't know exactly what they are, but there's a bunch of them. Yeah, I'm not sure what they are, but they're everywhere. We managed to get one up here in the trout stream, boys, but uh, she's not a trout. These little guys are just on right now. That's all there is to it. These little guys are just on right now. It's that time of year. It is that time of year. Thank you for eating today, sir. Still in your bottom lip a little bit. You talk about a mouth, a monstrosity. Let me get him up here. He'll look huge. Look, he don't even fit in the screen. He's so big. Well, hey, at least we got a fish, guys. <laughs> at least we got a fish. I want to take that spool of... Somebody lost their whole damn, their whole get up here, it looks like. What the heck is going on here? Good God, guys, this is a whole reel. <laughs> what is going on here? Did somebody get pissed off? There's no cap. Looks like somebody got mad and said to hell with this thing. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we'll get it off the river bank anyway. Always wear your seatbelt. Um, <clears throat> we gonna go down here, see what we can get a hold of today. Um, it's a little bit early, 1.30 or so. Uh, 
sorry about that aggravating beeping, guys. It'll stop in a second. But uh, anyway, we're going to go down here and see what we can get on. We're going to try for trout. We're going to try for smallmouth and just see maybe. We came down, uh, I think it was yesterday we came and uh, did not get a fish all day until I got down here and I got one little smallmouth. One little bitty guy decided he wanted to eat yesterday. So we will see what happens here. I'd like to get out here in my boat and fish some of this area. There's got to be some nice smallmouth up in here, I would imagine. The walleye come up this side, but you got to imagine there's some nice smallmouth on this side too. I mean, we've been fishing just mainly Middle Fork for the smallmouth, but over here on the South Fork, there's got to be some good fish, you know. There just has to be. So, you know, it, maybe we even get a walleye. You never know. They will hit a spinnerbait. So, put something new out there for them because they've just been seeing plugs pretty much every day. You know, they've got used to seeing plugs. Go down there with a spinnerbait and see what you can get a hold of. There's been some monster trout caught out of this river too. I think the damn. Uh, state record rainbow might have came uh, maybe not maybe it didn't come out of here but there's been some big trout i know one boy that caught a nine pound trout out of here right down from right here down about a half mile or so but uh i'm gonna shut up cut the camera off save the battery and uh hopefully we're gonna need it maybe we'll get on some fish up here I will be back when we get our first fish. How about that? All right, guys, I brought the uh, whole shebang down here. Everything, all three poles, including the brand new Abu Garcia Lose combo. I'm gonna try that out here in a little bit. I want you guys to be with me for the very first cast. But first, we're gonna pitch this minnow on the lightning rod. see what we can do i'll be back with the fish guys all right guys so far no luck on we tried the little rubber worm no luck on that guy and we tried the minnow of course um no luck on that guy so now we're gonna go down here try this combo out Abu Garcia with the lose reel. Feels good. Good backbone. It's not got much flex in the tip at all. So this will be the first cast. And I will give you my honest opinion. Felt pretty smooth. Oh yeah. Run. Mm course it is brand new so the question is going to be how long is it going to last so i need to slow that down to a crawl this uh, reel is a six to one i think my other one is a five to one do not expect to catch anything in here um i came here for trout but so far we haven't we haven't had a bite of from anything of course you know i'm trying that purple worm you're not gonna catch trout on that purple worm for the most part all right so far feels good guys cast nice i'm not even you know not putting anything into it and it seems to get out there pretty good pretty smooth If you're somebody that's new to an open face reel, one thing I would always suggest, after you cast, first thing you should do is reach up here and flip that bale over. Now I know that it's set in here to flip that bale over, but there's gonna be a time when it's at the furthest point 
and you'll go to reel it and it's not gonna go and it's gonna be at the worst time. So just get in the habit. You flip that out there before it even hits the water. Flip that bail. That'll keep you off the bottom for sure. And you're not gonna wind up in a bad situation if you flip that bail over manually. I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as getting to the stopping point. Like when you cast that thing out there, you've got that much play. I don't know if you saw that or not, but if you take that play up, like see now I can't really get it to click over. If you reach up there and just manually, manually flip it over, you don't have to worry about that. If you've never fished with an open face reel, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But it's just become second nature for me to just go up there and flip the bail as soon as the uh, lure hits the water. So that's generally what I do. Pitch it out there, keep your eye on it. As soon as it hits the water, flip that bail over and start reeling because there will be a lot of times you'll get stuck that lure hits the bottom and you're in a fucking log or or you know you're in something you don't want to be in so get in the habit pitch it flip that bail over as soon as it hits the water All right, guys, first impressions. It feels really good. Let's see what kind of cast we can get out of it. That was, I, I barely even pitched it out there. I think we can cover some, I think we can cover some water with this guy. This Abu Garcia is a six foot six, you know. Uh, this lose, you can look at it right here. That's the lose. I'm pretty sure that they were both $59. So for, you know, it's not bottom end, but for low end, it feels really nice, you know. So. We'll continue using it throughout the day, and uh, I will definitely give you my opinion at the end of the day. Right now, it feels great. It's got the backbone, the perfect amount of backbone. Of course, we're gonna have to hook a big fish on it. If it's anywhere near the Fin Noir, um, I'll be happy. That Fin Noir, I just love that reel, or that rod. I do, I do. It is a saltwater pole, and it's actually considered a ultralight <laughs> uh, saltwater pole. But, you know, mega light. But as far as bass, my God, dude, this is like the perfect bass pole, <laughs> in my opinion. You can tell it's, I like this uh, Abu Garcia reel too. I've had this thing for years and it's it's been holding up good. You can tell it's been cranked on. You can see where the line has been caught here on a couple monsters and it's pulled it through, but she's still holding up. I'd like to get this thing back a hundred percent because I'll continue to use this thing as long as it works. It was probably you know, 50 bucks or so. I don't know what I paid for it, but I'll tell you what, it's been a good, the one thing that has been starting to mess up is the anti-reverse. But today so far, it's been good. But yeah, that's definitely uh, been a good pole, man, or a good reel, that Abu Garcia. This combo right here, just, just this combo has been unbelievable. Check it out, guys. My second ever find, and this may not be very old at all, but I have found one other thing ever. Maybe I'll show you guys that later tonight if I remember. 
but pretty cool. Check this poor little dude out. What what happened there? Guys. Obviously he didn't make it. I don't know what happened. Poor little dude's all dried up. Well, I guess we give him back to the river. Holy shit, guys, he took off. Look at, can you see him? I cut the camera off and he, he took off. He's okay. He was about to dry up up here. What the fuck? Dude, we saved him. Do you guys see him down there? We saved his life. I'm pretty sure we did. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he would have been okay. What do you guys think? Would he have dried up up here or was he just up there chilling in the sun? You know what? I bet he was. I bet he was up here just soaking up the sun. And I just fucked with him. I thought the poor little guy was dead, y'all. That is incredible. <laughs> Check that out, guys. What is that? It's like a metal. What do y'all think that is? This little dude didn't know he was a movie star. Anyway, I don't know what the heck this is. Feels like uh, aluminum. I'm saying I don't know how it got to this state. I think we got a nice little trout, boys. Not sure, it just hit right here in this water on the minnow. It's actually a smallmouth. <laughs> Well, at least we know they are eating today. At least we... Be very careful anytime you're dealing with these hooks, guys. Never put your hands in the way, because when they flop like that, they can actually run that hook into your hand, into your finger, whatever, and it's going past the barb. <sighs> Little bitty guy up here, but hey, at least they're hitting, huh? At least they're hitting, but man, this may be the smallest one yet this year. Honestly, I got you beat, Janice. You had the record, but actually, I don't know if you had the record or not, but this guy beats them all. This guy beats them all. If I put him up here, he's a giant. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. That was not supposed to happen. You are not supposed to get hurt in the process. You are supposed to swim off. And there he goes, up under a rock. Yeah, tiny. All right, guys, we got Miss Janice here now. She's gonna throw her little pole out here first time and see what she thinks about it. We're gonna throw this quarter inch rooster tail out here. We got her the Walmart South Bend Raven. This is a two piece pole, but it seems to be 
pretty good here. Um, I'm gonna tighten your drag down a click. Okay. All right. Literally my go. first cast, guys. Yep. On this, this is pole. gonna be her first cast on this pole, so. Don't laugh at me. We're going to let you know what we think about this thing, too. Step kind of right down there a little mm -hmm. bit. Oh, fish just jumped. Okay, well, go catch his ass. I'm going to get it. Ciao, baby. Whoa. Okay, whoa, whoa. first cast was a success. Yeah, right. It hit the water. Yeah. Reel it up there, make sure that everything's oh, good. Didn't okay. Have any weight to it. There you go. Now you're going to reel it slow. Keep that rod tip down right now because see how it's popping out of the water? You don't want that. Normally you'd want your rod tip up because you would be down there on the bank. But because you're up here on this rock, you want to keep it down. And right here is where you could get a bite. I like where that moves in there. How's your pole feel? It feels good. I Sounds do. good. I don't hear any squeaking or anything uh, yet. It's, it's really, the um, reel is really smooth. How's your new pole and reel? Oh, I'm liking it so far. Okay, so Get that rod tip down there a little bit. Yep. And, and just, yeah, basically right there, the current is pulling it enough to where you really don't have to hardly reel it at all. And you can cast out here. And try, and try to get it back quick across here sideways. Okay. But like I said, you're taking a chance. You can see those ledges in there. Yeah. Right there. Woo! Oh, good, good gracious. Dying. She's That's a casting cast fool. <laughs> Give me a little elevation and watch um, out. I don't even see it, baby, do you? Yeah, it's right down here. Oh, yep, you follow your line. I know it's hard to see <laughs> sometimes. Just yeah, well, they're hitting these mayflies. I'm pretty sure the mayflies are out already. I know it's March. Uh, do mayflies come in May? I don't know, but well, I'm, just, I'm pretty sure they're out already. Everything's so crazy warm. I'm gonna crazy down there. Hold up, hold up. Okay, you're good. I just want to make sure yeah, you no, wasn't grabbing these. Oh, How's your pole feeling? I like it. It's lighter than the ones that You're in the tree, so be careful. Yeah. Okay. It's going to pull you over into that log. You're still in the tree. I know, baby. I'm trying to. Okay. Um, trying to there you go. Just pop it one time. Just go poop and pop it over it. Good job. Oh, shit. Good job. We're in. Uh-oh. You're good. It's right there. I got a lot of slack. But... Yeah, just make sure to, yeah, keep it tight. And it, it reeled on pretty good, I think. Hold on a minute. Look yeah, at your yeah, spool. Look at your spool. It looks clean. But I got crap on here. Okay. Spool looks good. Let me see. You got the acorn out of the tree or whatever yeah. that thing is. Look okay. The bottom clean. Looks good. Looks good. All right, let me get out of your way, and I'm going to move these poles so you can actually cast. Okay. All right, guys. I can actually cast. Well, guys, I've been fishing with the, <laughs> I'm calling it the shoe, because if you hold it upside down and look at it, it's the shoe. So anyway, um, I've been fishing with it all day today um, on the Abu Garcia. Um, I'm liking it. I mean, you know, it's it pitches out there pretty good. I, you know, I put nothing on that cast right there. I mean, I'm not gonna say I put nothing on that cast, but anyway, it it's smooth. It's uh, I'm liking it so far. We'll go up here and talk to Miss Janice here in just a minute and see what she says about her little pole. But so far, I'm liking the combo, guys. Um, I'll continue to let you know what I think about it, let you know how it's holding up. But as of day one, so far I'm liking it. The only thing that I don't like is I didn't catch a fish on it. <laughs> but it's been a slow day. Um, I think we've caught 
two fish today. I think I've caught two fish. And uh, the battery died on the GoPro on one of them. So, yeah, it's been one of those kind of days. But, yeah, no, not only did I only catch two fish, but they were both small. And one of them was the smallest fish I've caught this year. So, I'll be back when I find her. Oh. What I have noticed between this river and Middle Fork over there, uh -huh. what do you notice? Well, it's, well there's no um, there's flow, but there's no rapids really right here. In your it's river. a lot deeper. Oh, that's true. It's a lot deeper. So Weird. that means the Middle Fork is warming up first. That means the smallmouth are going over there first. For whatever reason, the smallmouth go that way, the walleye come this way. The walleye, maybe they prefer colder water or deeper water. I don't know, but I would imagine this being deeper, it's going to be colder over here, right? Oh, that makes sense. So, you know, we're catching bass in here, but they're little bitty and they're few and far between. Um, the yeah, I think I got one that was about five inches, maybe four inches. I don't know. He was a little bitty guy. But yeah, guys, that's what I'm noticing. Um, it's Papa. What are you thinking about your pole? Hey, Papa. Can I call you back in a few minutes? Okay, we're out at the river. Just a second. Okay, I'll call you in a few. Bye-bye. Love you. I, what am I noticing about the pole? Yeah, what do you think about it? Well, Let me uh, say it. One thing I noticed right now is I got it in the wrapped around the end. Um, I think it looks fun. Let I like it a lot. It, it's, um, it casts nicely. Um, she likes it, boys. I done something right. Whoa! Let's see what I think about it. The Walmart, damn. It, it casts pretty good. It does. I like it. The, the real, I mean, given what you said you paid for the whole... I think it was, I think this thing was $30, guys. It might have been 40 It was either 30 or 40 well, I think for all of that, I mean, I think it's working really well. I really like it. Right. Well, like I said, this will give you an idea on the length of pole you want. Uh, this reel is actually going to be pretty good for bass fishing. This is about the right size reel here. And uh, this thing's got a 5 to 1 gear ratio. Pretty decent. Yeah, I, ca I caught two fish, so it looks like a dying fish right there, don't it? All right, let's 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 try backhand cast, see where we can go. You ain't been able to get it that far? No, I've been able to get it that far. Good, nice. Look at the bat. Yep, I saw him. Yeah, he came over here and told me to get the F out of here. Yeah, he was on that tree straight across over there. Yeah, he was like, y'all, it's time for y'all to go home, man. Uh -huh. You've been out here fishing all day. I got my babies over here and I can't have you seeing where I'm going, so get out of here. Well, guys, I guess that's going to be the end of the video for tonight i haven't really caught many fish i don't know if i'll do a video and put it up or or what i don't know no, what i'll do beat my personal record i did beat your record fish. You we're gonna today here? we're gonna battle it out are you down to four or five we're gonna battle it out for the, the smallest fish. fish of the year <laughs> i love it yes so indeed that that koi pond, baby. I ain't, i'm not gonna catch your goldfish all right, guys, like I said, thanks for watching the video. We're going to get out of here until next time. Hopefully, it'll be here again soon. I'm liking the little Wally World rod so far. Oh, I was going to tell you a thing, guys. Don't ever take these off. Anytime you buy these combos like this, don't take these things off because uh, they will basically hold this on here. The way, the way they've got this set up here, how you hold it, Sometimes you end up loosening the thing up yourself. So anyway, I wouldn't take these off just in case this does fail at some point. Yeah, we're going to tape it on real well, which is heavy duty, damn it. Duct tape. Damn it. I wish I could say that was a fish. <laughs> 
I got it, baby. I got, oh, he threw the hook. Oh, it really was a fish. It, no, it was a fucking six pound stick fish. <laughs> I caught a four, a four inch stick fish earlier, but it's just a four inch stick fish. Okay, baby. All right, uh, run it up to the end. I like it so far. Looks yeah, good. It looks nice. Are you going to cast out right now? No, I'm going to throw it right here. Let me get out of your casting. I don't know if I you've like been doing that. that or if you've yes. been putting it at the end or what. No, I've been doing it like that. I like my eyes, baby, so I just didn't want to The, the uh, drag on this thing uh, leaves a little bit to be desired, I, I see. That's a little, little bit loose, weakish right there. Uh, but these are just things you're going to notice along the way. Uh, as long as you don't catch an eight pounder. Yeah, I'll be all right. Even you'll if I be catch all right. an eight pounder. And you'll get, we'll, you'll, if we'll you catch one eight pounder we'll, on that thing, we'll, we'll retire it and I'll buy you <laughs> a brand new what the fuck ever you want. <laughs> if, I, if I land an eight, an eight pounder. If you get an eight pounder in here, baby, I will bow down. Yeah. I will call you the fish queen, we the got, whisperer. She got one really cool wood piece. Today. She did. That would be badass in the back of a 10 gallon yeah, sitting that like that. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. In one of That's my a good planters. One. Yeah, that too. Well, night, y'all. It's time for us to get something to eat. Yep, let's go eat. We'll see y'all on the next one.